Walmart is a massive transnational retailer corporation. In fact, Walmart is the largest retailer on earth. Founded by Sam Walton, the company is currently worth about $500.60 billion Canadian dollars and $144.21 United States dollars in stock. The company is the largest retailer internationally and domestically, meaning it is the largest retailer in its own geographical location and worldwide. It contains a wide range of products extending from electronics to fashion or food to sports. It is a household name among many families, with approximately 265 million customers per week. One of the main factors of the Walmart brand and success is their pride in low prices, said by their slogan, Save Money, Live Better. In today's economy, nobody's more committed to helping family budgets go further than Walmart. Walmart saves the average family about $3,100 a year, no matter where they shop. Save money, live better. Walmart. The real question is, does this help Canada and how exactly as a country are we affected? Walmart is a significant problem for local businesses. As Walmart is a grand superstore chain retailer, they have the ability to bypass intermediaries through the buying stage. Instead, they purchase right from the seller. Local businesses will not have this luxury and need to go through the different sellers and producers. Walmart also manages contracts between the seller to buy goods in bulk, getting substantial discounts that local stores are not in a position to make. This cuts the competition out and keeps them as one of, if not the lowest price retailer. An example of why this happens is if a manufacturer runs their plant at a predictive rate, they would sell their products for a smaller exchange per item and maintain a predictable high volume production demand. Walmart is a very wealthy retailer store. Therefore, the funds are available when buying products or goods, and local stores are often small and insignificant compared to Walmart. The products they may sell will sell for much cheaper at Walmart, meaning the possibility of competition does not occur as Walmart is a much more viable option for consumers based on the prices. For example, if you can buy bananas at 90 cents for Walmart, or for $4.50 at other local businesses, people will most likely go to Walmart given the cheaper option. Local businesses go through many stages to gain profit, meaning they will need to sell higher to make purchasing the product beneficial. Walmart does not need to sell these prices as high because they get it for so much cheaper. Walmart forces small businesses out of work as well as pushes the competition out of the region. Compared to Walmart, many businesses look like pioneers as they lack the corporate leaders, analytics, investors, and people to watch the economy. Look around at the supply and demand and current trends that may be worth buying for. Walmart has a large amount of employees to control local stores compared to a few people or families that own a small business. This negatively impacts the economy as this loses job opportunities in the community has a public or local investment through the community and society, and also contributes to public infrastructure. Inflation is also becoming a big reason why Walmart is beating many competitors. As other stores will have to sell an item for $5 to get value back, Walmart may only have to sell it for 2 so in a largely extreme example, if inflation raised 50%, the competitors would need to sell the product for $7.50, while Walmart would only need to sell it for 3 to make profit. Therefore, people will buy from Walmart to afford the rising prices as they can barely afford things themselves. Job opportunities are also a significant factor when it comes to Walmart and the Canadian economy. Walmart destroys three local businesses for every two they create, which reduces the average retail employment by 2.7% in every county they enter. A Thunder Bay study recorded the gains and the losses of jobs among small businesses and Walmart between the years 1995 and 2000. The study concluded that 792 jobs had been lost in local businesses, while Walmart had gained 500. This means there was a net loss of jobs of 292 jobs. The job opportunities that are gained from Walmart don't outweigh the competition and destruction of jobs it creates for the local economy. In August of 2022, there was a layoff of 200 corporate jobs at Walmart after warning of falling profits. Walmart is also a low-paying job, paying minimum wage to their workers. 
Walmart has been hit with criticism for decades for low wages, wage theft, bad working conditions, and a reliance on keeping workers on a part-time schedule. Walmart is the largest and wealthiest retail corporation in the world, yet it pays minimum wage for approximately 2.2 million associates. The workers' benefits are almost non-existent. Considering the cases of Walmart employees, they're not seen as people or human beings, but as discardable workers. Low wages decrease employment opportunities as people tend to want to make more than minimum wage. When a Walmart is added to a community, the community sees lower wages and less local money. An analysis of regional economies show that every new Walmart added to a region decreases the region's overall economic output by 20 years by $13 million. The same research analysis discovered that every new Walmart costs the region $14 million in 20 years for loss of wages. Walmart is a massive corporation, therefore it is always in need of workers. Within a community, many local businesses will either be completely independent through the founder or families that started it, or they will have a low number of employees to work for them. Walmart, on the other hand, needs to maintain a large number of employees to manage the workload. If Walmart began to lose a high volume of employees worldwide, Walmart would begin to have problems. People could not run the stores, the shipments, stock the shelves, be cashiers, run the headquarters, or the Walmart operations themselves. Comparing local businesses with the larger corporations, the opportunities of jobs will always remain. Walmart may cut the job opportunities overall, but Walmart itself will most likely always have a position needed to be filled. As many local businesses don't hire many employees, Walmart is an always go-to job, especially for young workers who are ready to get into the workforce or people who just want a slow and steady job. Often, Walmart is not a lifelong career especially considering their negative criticisms, but it is a perfect starting place for younger folk for a short amount of time as it's best to move around and see other job locations and how they differ from the other ones you've had before. As Walmart manages to gain their products cheaply, their need to sell these goods for high values are not required to make the purchase beneficial. Realistically, Walmart could likely be able to sell their prices a similar value compared to their competitors, keeping their prices just under the value that the competitors set them as, allowing them to make more profit over a single item sold and maintain a larger demographic as their prices are still below the other competitors. However, Walmart does not do this. They keep their prices low, which is great for consumers as we get our goods cheaper. This is only good for consumers though, but eliminates most competition as their prices cannot be easily matched to other companies. So we need to stick with the prices and quality that Walmart provides us. In conclusion, Walmart tends to have a more negative effect over a longer period of time than positives. Walmart may seem good for consumers through the price, but as the price continues to increase from inflation, Walmart is beginning to not seem like the obvious choice. The way employees are traded in some cases, the low wages, etc., might bring awareness to some of the less known bad aspects of Walmart and begins to bring our awareness to the issues of Walmart as a whole.